Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. I hope that 10.1 is treating you all very well. I'm really enjoying Raid and Mythic Plus so far this season. And today I have an updated Marksman Hunter guide for you guys. This is going to be a little bit more streamlined. I'm still going to keep my other guide updated. It's going to be the long form. This is going to be an updated short form, which will have the new builds for both single target and AoE. I will put timestamps down below, but I'll keep this one much shorter. So let's go ahead and jump into the guide. Mr. Eggplant presents... And I did just want to give a big shout out and thank you for those of you guys that checked out my first 10.1 Marksman Hunter guide and made it so successful. And also those of you that joined my Discord. I cannot wait to see what Season 2 has in store for us. But let's go ahead and take a look at my single target build here for Season 2. Uh, so on the left side of the tree we don't see too many changes. No longer putting a point there in Steel Trap. So quality of life always goes up with that. So you get two points each in Serrated Shots and also Arctic Bola. And then one point each in Death Chakram and Poison Injection. And the main changes are going to be over here on the Marksman Hunter side of the tree. So we have an, a new talent here in 10-1, which was an old BFA Azerite trait, which is going to be in the rhythm. And then there was changes to Legacy of the Windrunners and Windrunners Guidance. The TLDR on this is every time you use an aim shot, you get an 11.47% chance to get 6 seconds of true shot. And this build does obviously have true shot in it, which is augmented by unerring vision. So that can actually stack on top of an already existing true shot buff in fact the longest true shot i've had so far uh, this expansion has either been 44 or 46 seconds like it was absolutely crazy and then also you do keep those uh unerring vision stacks so you keep that extra crit damage and crit chance as well and then once you get into your four set in particular you want to run with one point in death blow and one point in razor fragments i would move the points that we had previously in focused aim and move those over here to death blow and razor fragments that way you get the most out of your four set and that also gives you death blow on most of your main abilities that being now aim shot rapid fire multi shot and arcane shot now let's go ahead and take a look at our rotation and here is the abridged single target rotation for you on your Marksman Hunter. Uh, one thing I can say is do not let your aim shots cap on charges ever. Uh, that's the single greatest way to lower your damage on your Marksman Hunter. If you're in a Mythic Plus single target situation, you're going to have Explosive Shot and Volley and obviously Death Chakram. Make sure you use those before you go into your uh, True Shot opener or your Burst phase because that True Shot window is so strong right now. Uh, other than uh, True Shot, make sure that you're letting your Rapid Fire completely channel to get that 12% in the Rhythm Haste buff. You should be using that for both Single Target and AoE. If you're running with Steady Focus, make sure you use your Steady Shots and Pairs. And I do that before I go into a True Shot, but not during it, unless I absolutely have to. And then again, speaking of those True Shots, uh, during True Shot, make sure you're using and just spamming Aim Shot until you have no more charges. After you have no more charges, use Rapid Fire then go back to aim shot after you run out of aim shot charges and rapid fire is on cooldown go use an empowered arcane shot then go back to your aim shot i know shot 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 uh, because you're fishing for those additional six seconds of true shot because you keep your stacks of um, an unerring vision during that so be sure and do that as much as possible and you'll watch your dps skyrocket so let's go ahead and look at the stats real quick and then i'll show you an opener and what you can expect on your marksman hunter so before we check out the opener let's look at our stat priority as it comes up here on the screen so weapon dps is going to be your best stat in the game followed by your main stat which is agility after that you want to stack basically as much crit strike and haste as you possibly can uh, you'll get a lot more value out of both of those than mastery and versatility which will round out uh, our secondary stats and then obviously the higher you go up into keys versatility does tend to swap with mastery because you know it makes you take less damage which is always a good thing particularly on a marksman hunter and now let's take a look at our opener so it's going to be super easy uh, with about 2.5 seconds left in your pull timer you're going to use steady shot times two to get that steady focused haste buff then you're going to go ahead and use your death chakram if you're like in a uh, uh, in an AoE or Mythic Plus situation and you're on a boss, then that's where you would use Explosive Shot and Volley. And then you'll use like your, your potion, your any on-use trinkets, anything like that. True Shot, and then you'll go Aim Shot, Aim Shot, Rapid Fire, and then you'll go Aim Shot. And basically you just continue to do Aim Shot until you don't have any more charges. Then you'll use Rapid Fire. Then you'll go back to Aim Shot. Then once you run out of Aim Shot charges and your Rapid Fire's on cooldown, you'll use an Arcane Shot. So let's go ahead and show you what I mean.
And now let's go ahead and take a look at our Mythic Plus talents here for Season 2. And they haven't changed too much from the single target build, which is actually a great thing, uh, because you're going to be using your AoE Mythic Plus build when you're doing your dungeon runs anyway, and whenever you get up to that tyrannical boss, having good single target damage as well is really going to be a boon for your group. Uh, so you're going to move one of those points from Serrated Shots and move it over here to Explosive Shot, and then I have a point here in Camouflage instead of Concussive Shot that can be easily put over here in Improved trank shot as well but the main changes are going to be over here on the right side same way goes for the single target build so we're picking up the new additions or the new changed abilities i should say for season 2 and 10.1 so we're adding in the rhythm again and then also the two points in legacy of the wind runners and wind runners guidance and then since it is our AoE Mythic Plus build, you do put your points down here in Bullet Storm and Salvo. You want to make sure and macro Salvo to your volley. And then we have the tried and true True Shot, and that is augmented with Unerring Vision. And whenever you get your four set in particular, you want to make sure and have your point in Death Blow and also here in Razor Fragments. That way, you have four different ways to proc your Death Blow thanks to your four set. One of those being Arcane Shot, Multi Shot, Aim Shot, or Rapid Fire. All Things you're going to be using quite often you're going to get so many more of those kill shots out and they're going to do so much more damage thanks to razor fragments and then also thanks to our tier set and now let's go ahead and take a look at our rotation and now onto our aoe mythic plus rotation where we're arguably one of the strongest classes here in season two and it's all about layering your abilities together and correctly so use your explosive shot death chakram and volley together Using your volley gives you six seconds of trick shots, meaning you can then go true shot. And depending on your haste levels, and we get a lot of bonus haste just in our build normally, as well as streamline and the 12% in the rhythm haste buff, thanks to the uh, power of true shot, you can literally go uh, aim shot, aim shot, rapid fire, aim shot, aim shot, all in six seconds, which does absolutely nutty damage, as well as getting your explosive shots going off at the same time and the explosive shot that Salvo gets when you use your volley so that's all of the damage and when volley is on cooldown just make sure that you're using multi shot to get trick shots before each and every rapid fire and aim shot and then just like with single target with aim shot make sure you're not letting it cap out on charges now let's take a look at an aoe opener for you on your marksman hunter it's fairly simple as well uh, so you're going to hit Explosive shot first, then death chakram, then volley, and salvo will be connected with volley. And then you're going to use your true shot macro and then go aim shot, aim shot, rapid fire. And if your haste is high enough, you can get another aim shot in after that. And then from there, you'll just go multi shot, aim shot, multi shot, aim shot until uh, you don't have any more aim shot charges. Then you'll use multi shot, rapid fire, and so on and so forth, just like single target. So let's check it out. these last couple of sections are going to be pretty rapid fire we're going to start off with your tier set bonuses for 10.1 so for your two set, Arcane Shot and Multi Shot is just going to do 10% increased damage, but they also give you an 8% chance to get the Death Blow effect. And what Death Blow is, is it allows you to use your kill shot on any target regardless of their health. And then for your four set, all of your kill shots will do 15% increased damage, and they also reduce the cooldown of aim shot and rapid fire by 1.5 seconds. And the tier pieces that you want to have on your Marksman Hunter are going to be the gloves, the helm, the chest, and finally the shoulders. And until you get a 441 or a 447 ring, the Onyx Antlet is still going to be very strong for you on your Marksman Hunter here in the early goings for 10-1. So for single target, you want to run with the Prophetic Twilight Stone, then Freezing Ice Stone, and then finally the Desirous Bloodstone. And then over in the AoE or Mythic Plus build, it's pretty much the same thing except for one. So you're going to use the Prophetic Twilight Stone, the Storm Infused Stone, and then finally Desirous Bloodstone. And like I said, uh, this still does a large amount of your damage in fact for a mythic plus dungeon run this is averaging like seven to nine percent of my total damage so it's still a very strong ring to have on your character and now here's just a few examples of some of the gear that i'm aiming to get early on here in 10.1 
So the best way to increase your damage is going to be trinkets and your weapon. Uh, of course, tier as well. Don't forget that. Uh, so I already have crafted my bow of the Dragon Hunters. It's the easiest way to get a max level weapon here in 10.1. I do have Fang Adornment on that currently. Other embellishments, which Fang Adornment is one of those, that you can use is going to be the Shadow Flame Tempered Armor Patch. You can do one or two. If you do two, drop the uh, Fang Adornment or the Blue Silk Lining. Obviously, don't forget the Alchemical Flavor Pocket. doesn't count towards your allotted two embellishments, though. And then you'll see you're going to be running freehold a lot. There's a lot of amazing drops. In fact, I don't think there's a bad drop in there for you on your Marksman Hunter. But I would definitely come away with a Harlan's Loaded Dice, one of my personal favorite items ever added to this game, and a Seal of Questionable Loyalties. Jumping ahead, back to the tier set. You want to run with the chest, gloves, helm, and shoulders. And then another amazing item that I would suggest picking up would be the Bromox Disentombed Locket. It's a haste over crit neck piece, and then you can put three different sockets on that. And then one last thing, talking about trinkets. I already talked about Harlan's Loaded Dice, which is a passive trinket. The uh, Iridius Fragment is going to be an on-use three-minute trinket from Halls of Infusion. And then the last two are going to come from Avarice the Raid. One's great for single target, and one's great for over overall damage. The single target is going to be the Dragonfire Bomb Dispenser and the other is going to be the Igneous Flowstone. And this last section is going to be the consumables and enchants. So I finally remembered to add completely safe rockets on here. So I'm learning, guys. Slowly but surely, I'm learning. So looking at your flask, you want an iced file of corrupting rage. Or if you're having survivability issues, versatility file is always a good thing. For your potion, using a fleeting elemental potion of ultimate power. Super easy to get now. For food, you want main stats. So that's going to be either raid food with draconic delicacies or the deviously deviled eggs. Uh, for your cloak and brace, you want to put avoidance on there for your chest piece awaking stats for boots you either want planes runners breeze which gives you speed or the loam enchant which gives you a little bit more um, stamina for your rings you want either devotion of haste or crit for your legs fierce armor kit for your gems you use your crafty yazimerald and then for your weapon use your high intensity thermal scanner and obviously three star quality rank is going to be the best for all these foods now let's go ahead and finish this video up that I might have actually done in record time. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure and follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrEggplant. I did go ahead and cut out some of the sections that I normally have in these videos, like macros, weak auras, that sort of thing. They haven't really changed that much in the last like expansion and a half or so, but all of those are found in their sections in my Discord. So there is a link in the description of this video. I would encourage you guys to come join, hang out. We're having a lot of fun over there, and I'm really enjoying 10.1 so far, particularly the Nifflin, all of those new NPCs down in the caverns. I absolutely love my time in Loam every time I'm down there. And I will keep this video updated as well as my other guide. Uh, so if anything does change, I will put it in the pinned comment and the description of both of those videos. So best of luck in 10.1 and I'll see you in the next one.